Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of May for the Sun or the Ascendant. Yet to subscribe to my channel? I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. This means every time I drop a video, you will get told by YouTube. Also, if you'd like to ascend above zodiac sign astrology and embrace your own personal destiny in a much deeper and more profound way, please check out my uh, wonderful combination uh, special offer of your character analysis and 12 month forecast 30% off based on your uh, unique birth data. No two reports are the same. Please see the link below and gain searing insights for the months and years ahead. Hello Virgo and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of May. There are two really important events this week that I'm so excited to tell you about. Now your great gift is your ability to take responsibility, to be very committed, to have a real appreciation of how to see the quality in situations. You can be very discriminating and of course, our great powers of concentration and detail comes very easily to you. But this is a week that's asking you to actually be much more focused on the big picture of being a bit more daring in your approach. Now, due to COVID, not many of us have been doing much traveling or exploration in the last year or so. But this is a time when things are moving in certain countries and of course in others it is a very serious crisis. But if you're somewhere where you are seeing things opening it up more, this is a wonderful time for you to do something much more dashing. And the great thing about this particular new moon is it links so positively to Neptune in your sector of relating. Neptune's an interesting influence. It's a very shimmering planet. Of course, it's gassy. It can be so inspirational, and since 2012, it may have brought some magic into your relationship sector or some complete um, despair and sometimes confusion. But actually, Neptune works as a really positive aid to you this week because it's linking so helpfully to that new moon that it suggests that where you can collaborate with someone else, this is a great opportunity for you to actually not by losing your individuality, but actually having some kind of connection, but still leaves you free to do what you need to do for yourself, you can drive things forwards in a really positive way in the next month. The second link to this new moon comes from Pluto. Pluto is about transformation. It can be about secrets, it can be about the underworld, but it's in a very helpful part of your scope. Your sector of, of demonstrativeness, the fifth house. This is very creative. So having a fifth ninth house connection is brilliant if you do want to study something, you want to apply to an educational institution, you want to take up some kind of uh, on the job training or professional qualification. This is a brilliant time for you to go for it. But also Mars, the planet of individual uh, desire, and where we can be more impulsive in the, and, and in the moment, it's actually in your sector of friendship, but it's forging a very positive angle to Uranus, which is shaking things up for all of us this year. But Uranus for you is in your ninth house of radical change or radical truth. I like to think of Uranus as being the planet of truth, and maybe the truth of some situations is becoming clearer to you. But the link between Uranus and Mars suggests that something can happen very fast this week and it could be linked to a collaboration with a group situation or one particular individual. But the wonderful thing about it is that I don't feel that you're going to need to stop being you, the individual, to make all this energy come to, to light. Also your ruling planet Mercury is right at the top of your scope in your 10th house, very much about work, responsibilities, and uh, an ability to connect with influential people. But Mercury is also in contact with Saturn, the most exacting planet of the Zodiac, and that's in your sector of details and the sixth house. 
So if you are applying for a job and the change that you want to bring to your life is to bring more excitement and spontaneity into your daily existence, you can balance the two areas, the area that you're so good at being very, very organized and very aware of needing to achieve tangible results, but you can do so in a much more dramatic way. But what helps you furthermore is that Jupiter, the planet of growth, the planet of optimism, and crucially, the planet of fortune, moves into your sector of relating. And that happens on Thursday. And through to the 20th of June, it's going to be in forward motion in the sign of Pisces. And because Neptune's already there, it means we have both the rulers, the co-regents of Neptune, in the same sign, which for you is very much about how you interact with others. So I do feel that between now and the end of the third week of June, particularly, some kind of fortune can be linked to another person, but that person is not going to stop you being you. They're just going to try and collaborate with you. And it could be someone who's very, very encouraging indeed.